Hello everyone, uh, this is the Matatu Film Stage podcast powered by Cinemaric Pill. I'm your host, Timothy Niwamanya, and I'm speaking to David Son Mugume, the co-founder of Film Possible. So David Son, uh, could you just tell us a bit about yourself? David Son Mugume is a, a filmmaker. I've uh, been in the industry for some time. Started film, I think, in 2008? Eight or nine and been around ever since. This is all I love doing. This is all I've always done. Uh, majorly, I specialize a lot in TV directing and producing. And uh, yeah, that's what I do. Okay. Um, we're here to talk about the second edition of the Matatu Film Stage, but everyone can see from the artwork that it's Film Possible Presents. Uh, so as the co-founder of Film Possible, could you just let us know, tell us a bit more about Film Possible as an organization? Thank you very much. So uh, Film Possible is uh, an organization that was registered and birthed in 2018, but the inception and the idea behind it comes from way back. And uh, sitting down with the uh, founder, Ali, uh, Ali Muzoke, we were coming from a world where we never got trained. We, it was hard to find schools that knew how to deal with filmmakers, to nurture that talent. And uh, we learned on the job most of the things, self-learning, uh, research, collaborating with organizations like Maisha and uh, mentors who came along. But we still felt like there was a drive uh, with the skill set we, we had acquired over the years in the industry. We saw a lot that was missing for any ambitious young filmmaker who wants to get the same. And uh, to save them the time that we went through, we said, why not put up an organization that has all these uh, collaborations with uh, experienced filmmakers and at the same time uh, put in place workshops that can mentor and train participants to become from just, in, I have a dream of filmmaking, but now to become professional producers and directors and uh, storytellers. So uh, we did that in 2018. And um, from there, our dream is to train as much as uh, say 800 uh, participants, um, and we've been close, getting close to that. Uh, the drive behind it is how do you get professionals, put them in a room with a collected number of participants who apply, and on applying, they're selected, because uh, when something is for free, most people will misuse it. But when you put in the initiative to apply, put an initiative of what stories do you have, what incentive have you put in place as a potential filmmaker then that's where we sort and say okay fine you qualify and you take part in the workshops so we have done a couple of workshops over the years uh, we've done uh, the creative filmmakers bootcamp where we were working with uh, uh, youths to train them on how to use their phones and use that technology because now phones are really good the, sen the sensors have improved there you can edit film and do your sound recording with your own phone and make your own content put it on instagram tell your story so we did that that was a collaboration with the gods institute and uh we've also taught uh refugees uh, organizations working with refugees how to tell their stories most refugee organizations don't have access to uh expensive equipment skill sets so making uh, a platform for them to actually use their technology, available technology to tell their stories, um, that would be a very good uh, opportunity for them to document and tell the, the life of a refugee in Uganda. So we had a very successful workshop of that. And also we saw that the producers in Uganda, we have so many filmmakers who would love to produce, who would have a desire to make projects. Now, that's where we said, okay, now let's take it a bit higher. For that, you have to have a skill, you have done production before, you have knowledge of the industry. And we managed to put out a call and we had a very good turnout. And from that, we got uh, so many uh, positive results. And two of the short stories that were selected that won are going through not just the pitching phase, but now they're going through the training, more training 
that is um, in script writing, in producing, and directing. And after that training, they are going to actually make their projects. So uh, that is a very good path from just making being a producer, but now you get more training than just the workshop, and that is going to end up with your project being done. And that's all being funded and worked on by Film Possible. So that's how Film Possible came about, because uh, the drive is to make a bridge for youths and potential or hopeful filmmakers actually become filmmakers and put their work in cinema. Yeah. The other question I have is uh, leading into the Matatu film stage. Would be um, uh, since Film Possible presents, you've spoken about mm -hmm. the process you've been through. Uh, what would you say was the genesis for the Matatu film stage? So the Matatu film stage, um, uh, Ali had an idea because. Uh, in Nairobi, you see those buses have screens everywhere and you enter a bus and you're going to a place wherever you're going. But in a short period, you're in that Matatu, you have access to entertainment, music, all sorts of art. And it was like, why not um, do the same, create something of that nature? That was in 2018. And uh, our initial approach was to actually put it in a matatu. Uh, of course, at the time, that didn't go as planned, so we ended up working with the cinema. And uh, so the, it still kept the name, though. So the matatu film stage is you get on board. Um, we are going to a destination. As uh, it's a form of entertainment, you're going to be in that space. And uh, we are taking you to a destination. We're taking you to a place. But at the same time, you are getting, you are watching us, you're watching our films, getting a chance to see ambitious young filmmakers in Uganda who are making amazing stuff. So because it's a matatu, you're always on the move. One of the things was like, oh, why don't we start with short films? Because then those are quick and it's the punch. But at the same time, also the producers have an opportunity to make really nice content because when it's a short film, the budget is manageable. You can actually put out really creative art. And as a director and the, your producing team, you have an opportunity to experiment, which is not the case when you go into the feature length. So that's where the Matatu came about. And uh, we had a very successful turnout in the first uh, um, uh, the first time we did it, uh, which was uh, so amazing that on the gates, people came in from Masaka, Jinja, and they were really even willing to pay and sit on the floor. So it was so amazing. It was heartwarming to see Ugandans love film. Ugandans love watching. We love watching our content. And that even gave us more inspiration to continue with this, to actually say, okay, fine, how can we make this not just a one-off? How can we make it a, a series? And um, that was the drive after the first season. Um, it was all momentum until COVID happened, of course. So COVID happens, everything slows down. Um, it took us a while, because uh, as the world was trying to figure out its pace, uh, funding was problematic. The systems were off, but we still, the dream still stayed. And uh, we are so, so excited that after all those years, um, it's been a long break. Uh, but it has also taught us a lot. We have learned from the first experience and what has to be tightened and what has to be changed. So now we're going to do it again and it's happening. So in October, uh, we're going to have every weekend still collaborative, the same cinema, Century Cinemax. We're going to have every weekend on Friday an opportunity for Ugandans to come and watch Ugandan films. So uh, we're still collaborating with Ugandan producers and directors, and it's never been better. It's a good uh, synergy to have creatives sit and see their movies be watched by the audience, because that's our drive as storytellers. We love people to watch our stories, to interact with what we do. So that's, uh, it's, it's going to be amazing. Okay. What would you say makes uh, the Matatu Film Stage unique and different from any of the other, say, festivals or film platforms? currently happening in Uganda and in East Africa. Uh, one of the biggest drives we have is we respect our audience. We believe that when Ugandans are watching film, we renounce uh, saying Ugandans, but of course our goal is to go beyond that. Uh, but when you're watching film, you want to watch something that's good. So one of the things that we work on is to make sure that we collaborate with producers on making really good work. 
uh, we're in a global village, so to speak. So you're competing with the next Disney project or the next HBO project. So as soon as the fact that everything is a click away, how can we uh, make a platform that talented filmmakers have a place to showcase their form, their artwork, and that also takes them down into distribution, takes, opens up opportunities for them. So that's one of the things that we're working with. Well put. Um, I think you mentioned the challenges, um, but um, maybe you could just go by it. Uh, are there any challenges you experience just uh, organizing such uh, events, mm. especially in the creative industry in Uganda? Mm, uh, the creative space is often neglected. It's often seen as a luxury. So when you go into a space and you're trying to get fun funding or trying to put up resources, most of the times the priorities are never given to that. And uh, because of that, there's a lot of pushing. There's a lot of um, struggles we go to. And of course, with funding, it helps a lot. It helps a lot in marketing. It helps a lot in uh, getting the venues right. It helps a lot in uh, also making the right product. Because uh, film, at the same time, what we see in, in, in um, Matatu Film Stage, the idea behind it is distribution, and the idea behind it is to make a product that's good. But to make good products and make good films, you need funding. So it must say the one of the biggest challenges is funding, because with funding, it limits a lot. Uh, it has helped us also become more innovative and look for alternatives on how to collaborate, on how to work with what we have. But that has been a very big challenge for us. Uh, another challenge is, um, uh, I must say that when it comes to the teams we're working with and also the, I think as a country and as um, a continent, we are going through a transition of when we're making art, initially we're making art because we want to send a specific narrative and sometimes we're stuck in that narrative. So when uh, projects are called upon and you need to work with producers, you find that most of the content that's coming through has a specific mindset of it's not just taking you to a place, it's probably an awareness or... So sometimes you find that you're working with very little maneuverability there when it comes to art. So that can be a challenge, but that's a challenge often that comes down to, of course, funding, because most of the times as the producers getting their project down, they want to make a project that has a, an impact, a project that is going to raise eyebrows. So they'll always make projects that have an agenda or, so that kind of puts them in that bracket. But then when you want to entertain and bring the audience into your cinema and to bring the audience to actually learn more about Africa and learn more about us, then you find there's, uh, there's that you're like, okay, which path do we take? So that's also a challenge of the quality of work we're making, but that, that is often answered in future cause with more platforms, with more screenings and more access to the market, I believe producers will now begin to also foster ideas of making art and foster ideas of let's make something that now, it's not about the impact, it's not about the punch. It's more about now, let's sit down and let's digest the art and our culture. So that is, it's a challenge, but it is with more exposure, it becomes a solution, it, it, it fixes itself. Uh, yes, other than that, um, definitely government involvement helps a long way. Uh, it's all about the numbers, I believe. I think with an opportunity with Matatu Film Stage being there, that's like, um, it stands out to say, okay, fine. It's not, long, uh, even the potential funders, it's all about, it's not just an idea that film is uh, actually a product that people can watch and pay for. It gives them incentive to see, okay, this is, a pro this is something that works. It's a potential business worth investing in. So this is an opportunity to put it out there. So when you have movies in cinema, when you have people coming in droves, Ugandans and all, it kind of creates this thing of, oh, actually you can fund a project and it makes its money back and that will fix it. So I think um, governments and organizations probably are waiting, seeing, okay, just like they went through the phase in music, 
uh, music never existed. We had Lingala for so many years until the early, uh, the late 90s. Yeah. That's when Uganda musicians came through. So I think even film is going through that uh, renaissance whereby we are going to show, okay, fine, we can actually come, people can come to our cinemas. It's a little bit more expensive than music, yeah. but uh, there is a market. And with that, funding will always follow. And it starts with us putting ourselves in the marketplace. It's tough, but yeah, you have to start with something. Yeah. Okay, very well. So Davidson, uh, as one of the people behind the Matatu film stage, uh, what should audiences coming for this this year's edition expect? Uh, uh, well, it's uh, I think it's exciting, and uh, they should come expecting to see amazing work. They should come expecting to see uh, beautiful stories. the The beauty of the Matatu film stage is you have six different movies happening at the same time and they take you through a journey so it's also an amazing experience because when we are sorting all those films you also think about what comes after the other and also it really plays out well with the audience because at the end it's the different pieces but they're all in one so them having an opportunity to watch different styles of storytelling different genres in one go it's an amazing experience for them. So I'm sure that they'll be super excited and they're going to see really good work. Yeah. I'm sure they will. Uh, so my final question will be as uh, someone who's participating uh, both, uh, who's co-founder of Film Possible and also one of the people behind Matatu Film Stage. What should people expect in the future from uh, these two organizations? So it, it, that's a good one because um, there's a lot happening. Uh, one of the things is, uh, Apart from trainings and the film possible workshops, we are taking them through distribution to make their work. So it's not only just training, it's making the co projects and putting them on the platform. So that is something that's amazing because uh, producers and directors are now trained all the way into, it's not just making art, but now you're making good art that is going to be distributed and it becomes a viable, sustainable, uh, business for filmmakers. So that is an amazing opportunity that uh, Matatu is putting together. But at the same time, uh, we thought how best to do it now, let's go bigger. Because Uganda is one thing, but we're in a region that has amazing filmmakers in different regions. So now Matatu is not only stopping in Uganda, we're going to do a regional uh, approach to it. We're going to not only stop in Kampala, but go to regions in uh, Northern region, Western, uh, Eastern, and uh, show Ugandan films to the Ugandan population. But at the same time, it's not only stopping there, it's going to Rwanda, it's going to Kenya, going to Tanzania, collaborating with filmmakers from all those regions. Because uh, with the way the world is going right now, there's a lot, the world is shrinking, and there's so many untapped potential that's out there. And also Ugandans and East Africans to watch our work. So it's nice to be able to have places where people are going to come watch content, not only from Uganda, but from the region to learn more about who we are and learn more about Africa. Because at the end of the day, it's us to tell our story and having an opportunity to do that is an amazing thing. So our goal is to actually go regional and yeah, expand the world of film and yeah, make it better for, for producers and artists. Uh, as I said before, I keep, keep, keep doing this work you're doing because it's very valuable and very needed. And <laughs> the current industry we're operating in. But that's our interview. Thank you very much, Davidson, for doing this. Um, yeah, this has been um, an interview with Davidson Mugume, the co-founder of Film Possible, and one of the people behind uh, uh, the Matatu Film Stage. As you heard, he's also a filmmaker, and his work will also be showing in the festival itself. Mm. So, yeah, um, thanks. Uh, this time, no. Um, no, yes, I'm not directing this yeah, time, no, yeah, directing, but, but yeah. You, you participated. Yes, in the okay. Participating the films, yeah. So yeah, thank you very much. This has been uh, the Matatu Film Stage podcast powered by Cinema Red Pill, and I've been your host, Timothy Nyanaga. Thanks for watching.